Hi, I'm Dr. Stacey Shield and I'm a woman in robotics and I'm a lecturer in the electrical engineering department here at UCT and a researcher in the African Robotics Unit. My research looks at fast animals like the cheetah and tries to understand how they move so we can build more maneuverable legged robots. When I came into the African Robotics Unit, Profital, he had this crazy plan to build a fast quadrupedal robot like the MIT Cheetah and he wanted to focus specifically on maneuverability which was quite a different thing in the robotics field and actually still is. So he brought me and a little group of postgrads on board to look at this and initially as with all bio-inspired robots your first point of call is to look at nature but what we realized is that there was actually very little that was known, even from the biological side, about maneuverability in fast-legged animals like greyhounds and cheetahs. So from there, our research expanded into finding ways to investigate these challenging maneuvers. And on the other hand, also to study them in the field in animals by developing new field biomechanics technology. There are a lot of fields of work that humans are in currently that are dangerous, dirty, undignified, labor intensive, which would be much better served by robots. For instance, things like search and rescue, going into mines, anything like that that involves putting humans in the line of danger, you want to be able to bring in a robot. I personally put legged robotics more in the realm of something like space research, which is a lot more curiosity driven. It's a lot more about just pushing the boundaries of existing technology. I think more broadly, there's still a bit of a cultural shift that needs to happen, not necessarily just in terms of women in the sciences, but specifically femininity in the sciences. If the characteristics that we consider to be good for a scientist, also characteristics that we consider to be male, then women are going to feel that they have to be more masculine to be seen as good scientists. I'm hoping to remain in this position at UCT and keep extending that curiosity-driven, creativity-driven research for many generations. And I'd love to, in future, understand how it is that humans are able to acquire these incredible skills of dexterity, like juggling, dancing, sports, running, all of the things that we do so much better than robots. And from there, understand something about the control of the human body, the animal body, and how that can be translated to robots. There's initiatives and there's opportunities for female scientists that UCT has created to a certain extent. I think really for me the biggest contribution that they've made is creating such an inclusive environment. You know, I've never felt like my career would in any way be impacted by me being as visibly feminine as I am.